Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will be learning about cogs. So what are cogs exactly? So cogs are stuff that help you keep uh stuff stuff organized and and not like 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 everything uh all in one place. So how to do that exactly? So first first we are going to make a folder. So so we are going to name this cogs. Cogs. And what this will have is is it will have multiple fi files that work that is that is mainly run by main.py file. So the first thing we are go going to do is we will y use a uh, uh, something called something like a loop and an if statement. So for file name in os dot list dir. So what this means is is checking uh, every file name in in that folder so we will go for uh cogs cogs like this and since this is a loop where we will have to indent this so we are gonna put a colon so for file name and os uh less dir aka everything in this uh thing section if file name dot ends with so this is an intro introduction of something new so ends with means if the file ends with uh something something like like work dot pi uh kick dot pi uh, anything if they end with pi then that is something that we need to run so so we're gonna do the pi and this represents a, a python file with some sort of command in it so if file name that ends with pi that means uh if the file name ends with ends with uh dot pi it's checking if if it does then we will do client or whatever you name you named uh this also um you, if you if you want you could actually delete this if you are using slash commands like the like this else if you don't want to actually use slash commands you could you could just do whatever whatever okay anyways client dot load underscore extension this means it will load uh, the extent this extension aka any, any file and cogs and then we will do if so that we we can oops, we can allow uh, the these types of brackets so now we will do dot cogs actually wait no wait cogs dot so now after that we will do um um brackets these bra type of brackets and what will what this will do is it will load the extension of anything in cog cogs so now we will do the file name and then we will do brackets um and then we will do colon minus three so what this means is that it will load every single uh uh file in this uh folder we could even make a command for that that only the owner can uh, can uh 
like like do so you will need something called called owner id s equal equal and then we will do we will do a list and then uh the ids ids well i'm not gonna do that but i'm still going to do the command command so if you have have the owner ids with your id you can actually follow follow this so command the uh, oops oops um client dot command and this represents a a a uh, normal command a nice slash command so let's go for for a question mark as the command prefix and then we could we can do async the async df means async define and then we will do reload reload and then we will do ctx since this is not a a slash command if you if you added uh owner ids then then you should actually add commands is owner and what it will do it is it will check it if that person is the owner owner um if they if they are in uh owner ids but anyways now we are actually gonna copy paste this but the only thing that we have to we have to change is that is that it's a client that reload and what this will do is it will reload um, the extensions in in the folder and every file and this is pretty useful because because if you don't want to stop your bot but also you want to update update uh, commands then you could actually do this um, but you don't actually need to if you um, don't want to use cogs that's fine so now we will add file and then this is where we make our file our cogs so let's do do test.py python so we will do something different so we still have to import a uh, next core and a anything from next core the ext so import next core from next core import so so from next core import we will do a slash command command so this is this is how it is done uh, slash commands in in uh, in cogs but you know what I'm not actually the type to import import a uh, slash command from next for the ext but if you want you could do the do this it is fine so now let's do do from next score the ext import uh, command commands I don't know if we will need this or not but oh yeah actually we will need it for the cogs but anyways so now we will do do a class so this is this is where uh, classes come handy so we will do test we'll do class test and of course you could name this anything you want so now we are gonna use brackets and then we will put in commands dot cog and this means that um, you are telling Python that this is a cog cog and stuff so define 
underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and this means uh this is the function that every class should have so now brackets colon of course we will add self uh so the so this class actually works then we will add client or or bot or bot so self dot client equal client client so now we will make our slash commands so um we will make a decorator and then next core dot the slash command then brackets so of course uh um you could do you could uh, import it from next core so that it's only a slash command anyways so now let's do our part so name equal test test uh guilt guilt ids equal um so i will put a guild id li later on on i guess so i added it anyway um as it as if it was a list but anyways now we will make our command uh uh as it is i just realized that that this is the same command as something else so async def so now we will make our our command so now let's put our parentheses colon so every command should have self self no matter what it is so now interaction um so, so i think it works uh like that like that i guess it does work work so now we will add out our, our stuff so since i just want this to be a a simple command for testing testing i will just uh do interaction dot send parentheses but you can do it any way you want you want so inter interaction dot send send we will now do testing of course this doesn't matter because uh i i'm just making a test command but you can do it any way you want if you are using json then you have to put so away self the and then your function a but but i'm just making a testing command command that is simple so now we will do define set setup and then we will do client oops oops setup and then we will do client and then the last thing we will do is we will do client dot add cog cog and then we will do parentheses and then this is where uh uh we put in our class name and then parentheses we and then we will do client so this uh this is the main thing that adds a adds the cog cog and everything everything so now after we made everything we need let's act let's now try try this now we will uh run it run this Oh, oh, X client has no attribute load extension.
so guys I've realized uh something um so so it doesn't work with with nextcore that client so since we are moving to to commence that bot that means uh, I have to make this as as bot but then I'm gonna change every client to bot but so client and then here I will do uh, to bot perfect and then I will go back uh, to fix my mistake and then I will change a uh, client to bot and this time it actually should work so so bot 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 uh but oh my god why did I use a find and replace for this as well so but now and then that's one but now let's run our uh, code and if I am correct this time it will work So back to Discord, and this time, uh, let's now uh, check if our command worked. So testing, as you can see, now it it shows testing. Testing. So now we will run this, run this, and then uh it will say testing and that is good so I want to clarify th something the reason that error got there is because um, I put uh, this in a list so it didn't actually work so that sh should be pretty much it so I will see you in the next video and goodbye guys also you could actually just do you could actually just um make you could just make it commands the command if you don't want it to be a slash command and it will work anyway anyways but that means there is no uh, uh, name or anything like that so now I will see you in the next video goodbye